In this video, we will be discussing about the osteoblast and its differentiation. The osteoblasts are the cells that synthesize the bone tissue. They are uninucleate cells and when driven to differentiate, we get the lining cells or the osteocytes that make up the bone tissue. And if we do not need any osteocytes, the osteoblasts are driven into apoptosis. But where from the osteoblasts comes is a topic here that we are going to explain. Before we get into that, the osteoblast mediate the bone remodeling process, where old bone tissue is removed or resorbed and new bone tissue is formed. We see here we have two terms, bone resorption and ossification. The bone resorption where bone tissue is removed is done by the osteoclasts, whereas ossification is when the new bone tissue is formed by the osteoblasts. So there are two types of cells, osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Now let's get into the osteoblast differentiation. This all happens on the bone surface. Here in this diagram, we have the bone surface having mesenchymal stem cell, MSC. Here we will be showing the osteoblastogenic markers. Then on the middle, we will be showing the transcription factors. And in here, we will be showing the signaling molecules. To start this process, first of all, mesenchymal stem cell is acted upon by signaling molecule like BMP, WNT and FGF. And these signaling molecules drive several pathways in which we get the upregulation of transcription factors like RUN or RUNX2 and SADB2. And from this first step, we get the osteoblast progenitor cell from MSC. The osteoblastogenic markers on progenitor cell are ALP and COL1A1, both in low concentration. Then on the progenitor cell, more signaling molecules act upon it like BMP, WNT, FGF, PTH, TGF and HH and drive the signaling pathways where we get upregulation of transcription factors like RUNX2, OSX, CREB, DLX5. And all these transcription factors differentiate the progenitor cell into immature osteoblast, which displays markers like ALP, COL1A1 in high concentrations, and also we get the BSP marker here. Now on the immature osteoblast, more signaling molecules act upon it, like WNT, FGF, PTH, and TGF. And from this, we get the upregulation of RUNX2, OSX, ATF4, CREB, and SAT. B2, which eventually drive the differentiation of immature osteoblast cell into mature osteoblast cell. Furthermore, we see the osteoblast gets transformed into bone lining cells or into the osteocytes which are found within the bone tissue. And if we do not need more osteocytes for the bone, then the osteoblasts are driven into apoptosis. Now if we divide the differentiation process into phases, the first phase is the commitment phase from MSC to progenitor cell. Then second phase is the proliferation phase that is from progenitor cell to the immature osteoblast. And third phase is the maturation phase where we get maturation of osteoblast. And then we have the mineralization phase where cells get into the bone in the form of osteocytes. So this completes the differentiation of mesenchymal stem cells into osteoblast. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Do consider supporting my work on Patreon and also make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.